Welcome to Jellystone Park, famous for its peace and quiet. I'll take it from here, Mr. Narrator. Full speed ahead, boo-boo. Okay. And the wildest bears on Earth. How are you, Mr. Eric? I'm very good. How are you? I am fine. And congratulations on this film. It, it, it made me feel like a child again. That's the purpose of it. If, it you're, if you're a kid, you're supposed to enjoy it. And if you're an adult, you feel like a kid when you're watching it. Uh, why do you think Yogi Bear has such an enduring spirit? You know, I think it's a great set of characters. Yogi and Boo Boo are a classic comedy duo, like, you know, Laurel and Hardy or, or whomever. And I think we all see a piece of ourselves in them. Mm -hmm. you, either, you either know someone who is exactly like that or you are exactly like that yourself. Was that your intent when you were offered to direct the film? Yeah, you know, I, I loved the character sort of in a hazy childhood memory. And then I looked at the cartoons. Again, I said, well, these could be really funny modern characters. Meet Yogi Ta -da! and Boo Boo. Looking good, Yogi. They're grabbing lunch. We've got our first customers. One picnic basket at a time. Nice day for a picnic. <laughs> What the heck was that? Oh, I have problems with potato salad. The idea was to evoke a, an idyllic a national park, probably someplace that doesn't really exist looking quite like that, but it's how we think it should look. And of course it's based on Yellowstone or Yosemite, but we, we actually built that as a set in a pine farm um, in New Zealand, and my production designer just did a great job of making it look like the perfect American national park. There's this palpable chemistry between Dan Aykroyd and Justin Timberlake in the film. Absolutely. And, and I heard that they recorded together, which is rare, right? Yeah, that, that's, I, I don't know if it's ever been done for uh, animated characters. But, but for me, I wanted, to, I wanted to make those characters as real as any of the other live action characters. And because I was working with two such fine actors as Dan and Justin, I felt it was important to get them into the room at the same time and let them interact together, let them find those characters and the relationship um, working the way they normally would uh, in the same room. I mean, it's perfect casting. They all, they all get their... Everybody is top-notch, and they're all really talented comedy actors. So I, I want to be boo-boo. Well, you know, I, if, <laughs> if uh, I'm sure they're thinking about another one, you should, you know, put your name in. How does boo-boo sound again? Give me a, give me a line. Oh, a, a yogi line? Yeah. How's it going, boo-boo? Uh, I'm fine, yogi. <laughs> I think you can do it. Cool. Yogi Bear, a brown bear commonly found in North America and Alaska. Weighing up to 1,800 pounds, brown bears are also the national animal of Finland. Well, first and foremost, it's a lot of fun. I think that uh, you can't watch a movie without really having a good time. And that uh, um, at the same time, there's actually a, a serious message underneath all the fun, which is that we have to take care of our national parks. We have to protect some of our resources because otherwise they aren't going to be around in a generation. You know what I got from uh, the film is um, friendship and loyalty. Yes, that's, Strong. that's really important. And you know, you, as a director, you talk to the actors about it. And I think Boo Boo and Yogi are real friends. You know, uh, Yogi gets them into trouble. Boo Boo uh, always takes the, gets the worst of it, but he's always a true friend. And similarly, the ranger and Yogi, I told Tom that it's like you're the dad and he's the teenage son. You love him, but he drives you crazy. And I think you see those relationships in the movie. They're frenemies. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. Thank you so much, Mr. Eric. A pleasure to talk with you. Thank and you. Good luck. Thanks okay. a lot. In 3D. Yogi, <laughs> grab my paw. I'm so smart it hurts.